What is it? Uh, it's time. It's ACL, and we will be playing this game. I don't really know what it's about, but let's do it. I I just found it. I'm pretty sure my dad downloaded it, but I'm ready. Five zero five Gates presents. Oh, how many games? Rats, press B. Start new game. I don't know what I'm doing, it's very pixelated. Whoa. Whoa. Is that me? Imagine if this thing is me. I'm bold. This, this is very pixelated. Kind of like in Minecraft. I can't see it so good. He's Iron Man. I told you. Iron Man for you. Tardo. What was that? Heading in the closet. Oh crap. They're sending me away. Horace Man 2.0. <laughs> Whoa. I'm back, guys. This is how you do it. This is how you smoke. What is this thing? Oh my god. And so I was born. The first people I remember seeing were the old man, the old lady, and their daughter, Heather. After they'd said hello, the old man powered me down so we could install some software. I could tell they were nice people. The old man didn't give me a silly voice or stupid personality. And the old lady didn't dress me like a clown. Although for some reason, Heather really didn't like me. Once I'd had time to get used to walking, the old man asked me to dash from one end of the room to the other. Hmm. Oh my god, I, I'm never really running. Next, the old man spent a couple of hours building yeah, some platforms. Maybe. He yeah, said yeah. he wanted me to jump up them, but I must admit, I would. I was scared. It wasn't until I saw Heather and her mother happily climbing up them that I decided it might be okay. The old man then rearranged the platforms. He 
told me to try to reach the other end of the room without touching the floor. And I said, the floor's made of lava. Wait, what? Then I smiled at her. She just frowned and looked away. <coughs> the old lady arranged some pillows and blankets. She said it was in case I fell, but I think she just wanted it to look more like lava. Oh, yeah, I thought that was your blankets. Oh, well, I guess they're lava. When I reached the other side, the old man just smiled and said, That'll do for now. That will do for now. Begin, be bold. Adventure to be wise. Chapter 1. Learning to walk. It's legit like a robot who doesn't have, like, come in. It's Christmas, I told you. Also, 10 16. <laughs> a couple of days after those first lessons, the family had a big meal, and I was introduced to everyone else. The, hell the professor was yeah. the old man's brother. He was very quiet and always seemed to just kind of stare at me <laughs> he had lived with the old man <gasps> what stared on him and for five years That's the so house funny. was so huge they barely saw each other he preferred instead oh, to stay in his so... room leaving everything up that's uh... his butler, mr deck as he insisted <laughs> everyone called him although the professor mr. always deck. called him and off for a while called me the yellow bastard but the old man made oh me stop. my god you, you deck mr deck what did i ever do to you as he thought it sounded racist yes he is racist mr silton was the old man's driver before he worked here he'd gotten in with some bad people and was the driver in the post office robbery although it all went wrong oh, for some reason god. Mr. Silton <coughs> showed me a video of his van. Oh, I'm sure some mm -hmm. people must it like it. Huh? I just I'm found it. it. Where are you going? Did you do? Did you go into the shop? Then there was Alice. Yeah. She was the cook. She was the nice lady. Look, she was a nice old lady. <laughs> when she was younger, she had been a TV chef. Then, years what? later, she had a small part in Coronation Street. Mr. Silton said, before she worked for the old man, Alice was quite a hoarder. She kept old newspapers and bicycles, and something about a pool in a shoe box. Okay. The next morning, the old man gathered everyone together to show them what I was capable of. What else does he do? asked Mr. Silton. The old man smiled. He can help around the house. Could he help me with my newspaper collecting? Asked Dallas. I'm not sure that's a good idea, said the old lady, but he can do all sorts of jobs. Yeah, said Mr. Silton, shove a stick up his ass and he can do Dick's job. Oh. Now, now, said the old man. Oh, oh my god. I don't know if I can put this into YouTube. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, Gary set up what the old man referred to as lasers he said again i should try to get from one end of the room to the other but i shouldn't be worried as i had a special chip which meant no matter how damaged i was i couldn't die he said it was like infinite lies in a video game but when he realized i didn't understand he said he would explain another time Ooh. Oh my god, that scares me. I'm here. Everybody clapped, except the important looking men. Not exactly a cold, calculated killer, is it? Said the man in black. The man in grey laughed. What kind of artificial intelligence was that? He asked. Move right, unless there's something in the way. Okay, okay, said the old man. He turned to me and whispered, 
they're going to make it quite a bit tougher, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Over here. Let's go, let's go. No, 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 I ain't got that. It's so, like, it's actually, it's hard because like, I can't. Oh. No, it's hard because like, when I try to get it down, it like, doesn't work me sometimes. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm so done. I have to go this way. No. No. Oh! Oh my god! What? Wait, can I like some? No, I can't. Scrap that. Put my legs up. Alright. It's just me. Yes, I'm a pro. I'm a pro. I'm a go. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. Okay. Oh. I'm. I'm actually like scared. So I see it now. Oh my god, what do I do? Oh my god. The garage oh, I'm getting my arm. Old man smiled. Um, like, I like, went back. I'm so getting my arm. Ah. So this time, I'm going to go to the garage. So this time, I was determined to do him proud. I'm gonna have to do this again, but ten times harder. This is it. Oh, I was just about to say this isn't hard. I changed my mind now. Jump. Jump. Now what? Do I go down? Oh yeah. Are we trying? I'm getting anxiety. Just the old man's out. friends actually seemed quite happy when I made it through. We might have a winner after all, said the man in black. Said the man in black. Now killed three thousand, but you can almost see the fire in its eyes. Does it? A couple of days later, the old lady said she had a surprise for me. I oh, hear the smile. She also wanted to play me some music. I wasn't sure after what Mr. Silton had shown me. wasn't amazing enough the old lady then bought me a television set i couldn't believe what i saw i watched everything i could comedy drama horror sci-fi anything anyone wanted to watch i would happily watch with them then one day the old man set up a small box plugged some cables into the television and said this is what i meant when i said video games him. He's a video game. He's in a video game. I played games at every chance I could. Yes, I boy. That's what. That's my man. That's my boy right there. That's my boy. I had enjoyed music, film, and television, but to me, video games really were the highest art form. Yes. <laughs> Bro, you've been playing yourself right now. Ah. <laughs> uh. Table tennis for two. Oh my god, this game is so goddamn good. You can't get me, bro. 
I'm actually the best. I'm the best at table tennis. Fuck. Okay. We're gonna forget that ever happened. I don't. Okay. Yo. Space Invaders. Space Invaders. Space Invaders. How have I not gotten them out yet? He's actually like the best. Ooh! You suck against me, human. And yes, I will roast you. No, I keep on jumping over. No, 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 no. No. No, Forrest Grump. Come on. Yes, you have no chance. Oh my god, I have tears in my eyes. I don't, but. <sighs> no chance against me, sucker. No, okay, it's okay. He still has no chance. Oh, he has a big chance now. I'm gonna kill myself. Wait, what? I'm not. Bro. How is he on two? Okay. Bro, he can't beat me, but now he is. Of course, when I feel actually great about myself, they end me off right there. I keep on doing this. The police are after me. Oh, he clearly hit that. But still, anyway. Get wrecked, boy. If I actually win this. No, wait, there's a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. I'm doing my most try hardest in video game year ever. You suck. It's not like you beat me ten times or whatever. It was a couple of months later. Her mum and dad had bought her a camera and arranged a day out by the sea so that Heather could take some photos. Although I really don't think she wanted any pictures of me. Aww. When the old man asked the professor if he wanted to go, he frowned and said, yeah. I can't believe you want to spend time with that thing. It could destroy the world. <gasps> I wasn't sure what he meant, but the old man just smiled and said, That's what you said about the Game Boy. And on, how about you? I don't think so, said Mr. Deck. The last time I got in that car, Barry crashed us into a branch of Woolworths. I never would have gone into Woolworths of my own accord. The old man explained that the car was old and the brakes had failed, but Mr. Deck was having none of it. So Mr. Silton drove, and Alice came along for the fresh air. I enjoyed being outside. Although, the old lady kept telling me to be careful of the rickety old walkways. <laughs> I forgot to go over the horizon. 
He comes down from this. What's wrong, Dad? As the old man and I stood on the cliff tops, I could see something in the distance. I wasn't sure what it was, so I asked the old man. Shit. He Nothing. said it was a battleship that had sunk I in the 1940s. But he looked so sad when he spoke about war. Oh no. I didn't see what happened, but the metal platform Heather was climbing on had collapsed. She was safe, even if the rocks she was on looked very. What the hell? You can't do this. Dangerous. The tide was rising, and we didn't know how long the Coast Guard was going to be. So I offered to climb down and get her. The old man agreed, but said I should be careful, as Heather doesn't oh, have infinite money. lives. Like I do. Oh my god, we gotta save her. We gotta save her. We gotta save her. I'll bring your daughter back. Oh my god, this is actually Indiana Jones right here. Oh my god. We got to save her. We gotta save that little dead guy. Ella was unconscious. And her leg was broken. Oh. So I picked her up as gently as I could. Oh, I don't like holding a dead child. <laughs> the rest of the way. Come on. No, what? Do I go this way? Oh my god. Dead child, if you get sad, it's all my fault. Alright. No, just for fun, I'll do it. Just for fun. You have to keep me. Oh, that's the end of the child. Baby Yoda. Oh, I wonder how it... Run. Run. Oh, yeah. That, that, that was not on her because that was by accident. Oh, this is my favorite level so far. I've never only played it three levels. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now the little girl drowned. Oh no. It arrived by the time I had made it back oh to the cliff top. So the medics made sure Heather was okay and then took her off to hospital. A few days later, we all went to see how she was doing. She was fine, but would have to wear the cast for a couple of months. Hey, she smiled back at me. It's the best. Robot saves like a girl, Mich mechanical man, hero robot, he hero robot, hero boy. Oh my god, I'm the hero. And then she died we from enjoyed the same films and Not TV. making fun, not making fun of people, I'm so she sorry. She was also annoyingly <laughs> good at some of my favourite games. After a while, she became very interested in how I worked. Soon she knew as much about me as the old man did. So I was naked they and they put wires in me. There you go. We spent the next couple of months visiting other countries. As when it came to teaching me things, the old man always liked to pick interesting locations. He would explain the basics of mathematics to me at the Great Pyramid of Egypt. 
Is that way to skip? Dead at night, surrounded by mysterious giant stones. And even showed me science in action high up in a hot air balloon. This is why I was surprised when the old man took me to a restaurant. It was nice, but it seemed very somber compared to the previous grand locations. He said he just wanted to chat, and this was nice and quiet. Plus it was his favorite place to eat. We talked about life, the universe, Douglas Adams, everything really. When I asked him why were we here, why did we exist, he just smiled and said, life is like a game, just don't expect to be finished anytime soon. When I looked puzzled, he said, well, everyone should have a purpose. So I asked him, what's my purpose? He th thought for a bit, then said, so you want to be a real boy, which just confused me even more. Eventually the old man said, for now, I want you to help clean things around the house. I must have looked unimpressed. As he then said, okay, I want you to clean one million things. It didn't sound like the meaning of life. Oh, but I suppose you've got to start anyway. somewhere. A man can't have anything. If you put it. The next day, the old man said he wanted to install some more software, so he powered me down. When I came to, he said Mr. Silton had a joke for me. And that I should pull his finger. And then he fired. I don't think I got the joke. So the old man powered me down again. This time when I pulled Mr. Silton's finger, I got the joke. But it wasn't very funny. The old man then explained that he had installed a special chip which allowed me to clean away anything that was broken. He said it also tells me how many things are nearby. And how many smaller things are in a bigger thing. It all sounded very complicated. But he said all I really had to do was pause. And it would bring up all the information I needed. He then said he wanted me to find and clean all of the items in the room. He told me there would be some chains to climb. But that would be nice and easy as I just had to press up. He then finished by saying, when I had collected all the items, I should come back here. Alright. Alright, so I think I might actually finish it off here. Um, yeah, again, I I really think I should make a series of this. So if you like this game, then make sure to like the video. And, um, yeah. Now, I need to talk, talk about something with you guys. Roblox. I'm gonna be going down Jarvis now. I, you know, let's turn, let's turn this on actually. I think it's gonna be cool with the music on when I talk. No, it's really not. All right, so I've been banned from Roblox. Yes, I have. So I'm gonna start trying to ma be making um videos of this thing. Oh, it's still no, this. So now, guys, I'm gonna show you what my top ten video videos will probably be. So definitely, I'm gonna play this again because it's so good. Um, I'm definitely gonna play Among Us. Probably gonna play Zelda. I don't. Know. <laughs> definitely gonna play Warframe. You guys want to see Warframe? Well, I didn't know that, but like you guys probably do. Know. Don't know about Spellbreak. Steamworld Dick. Actually, maybe, maybe I might. Look, Ami HD. Wait. 10% chance. Lu Luigi's Mansion. 80%. 80%. Super Mario Odyssey. 50%. Super Mario 35. Eh, probably not. Probably not. Like 1%. Uh, Super Mario 3D All Stars. That's actually a pretty good idea. I might do that. 
Donkey Kong Tropical Island. Well, if you want to see that, I should make a super road show. <laughs> so, guys, if um, if this video right now gets four likes, I will be playing Warframe for the channel. If this video gets two or more likes, I'll play. I will play. Uh, Luigi's Mansion. If this video gets four likes, then Super Mario Odyssey. And if this video gets five likes, then I'll play Super Mario 3D All Stars. And if this video gets seven likes, look. If this video gets seven views, I will play Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. So if you guys, in oh yeah, I was talking about Roblox for a sec. Yeah, so I have been banned from Roblox for hacking all right i'll tell you the whole story so i was playing um westbound a game called westbound robot for my friends you guys know it check my first ever video right um so i was playing westbound with my friend right because yeah and um right i was beating this person in the game right and then he had lots of friends in that server and i kept on beating him in the game so then he reported me and then he told all his other friends to report me so then that's when Roblox was like, mm, nothing reports, huh? I think we should ban this guy. So I've been banned for 30 days. I did email Roblox to tell what happened. Um, my dad helped me, so thank you, dad. And yeah, that's why I'm not being uploading that much Roblox videos. And I'm so sorry I haven't been uploading for the past two weeks. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try my best to get back on track. Upload for you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.